okay so we spoke about the inner child and now we all understand the inner child the word child being a concept of innocence the pure state of awareness okay which means i am i am what not yet we're not going to plug the i am into any personality or entity yet it is simply i am and that doesn't mean god yet it's just i am i am what nothing for now that is the inner child the pure state of your awareness it has not yet been infected by any personality and it has not been affected by any personality now what is the ego i want you to think of a large wall with thousands of power sockets okay each power socket represents a personality a father a mother a director a president a lawyer an engineer a friend all these personalities represent um, the power socket on the wall now the totality of the power socket is what you call the ego now the inner child has a tendency because the inner child is always looking for expression okay but before you can have an expression you have to be able to identify yourself with what you want to express yourself through so sometimes the inner child will say i am a father i am a mother i am a director so the content of those personalities begin to flow through the inner child manifest through the brain neural pathways and dictate the world that you see the way you talk the way you feel the way you conceptualize your reality your choices and your decisions which make up your life so the ego doesn't mean something is that is here to kill you the ego gives expression to the inner child now within each personality uh, of the ego there is what we call as a matter of fact there is no such thing as good and bad but that's another dimension but that's what we call the toxic expression okay and the blissful expression for example if you have the identity or a personality of a father and growing up your dad has been good to you and your dad has also been mean to you sometime okay so within that identity of father there is what you call good or toxic data or what you call blissful data so when you say when you yourself you become a father and you say oh now i am a father you are going to plug your inner child into the concept of father which is one of the power socket on the wall and both energy is gonna flow through the inner child okay you you may find yourself even doing the very things you you, you hate your dad doing with your own children okay or if you reach a certain level of enlightenment you will not be, be able to do that you can rewire your neural pathways right and remove the toxic data out of that identity or entity of a father and allow only the blissful data to flow through you so this is the importance of understanding the difference between the inner child and the ego so your inner child is almost like a, let's say an appliance it could be your cell phone right so the moment you plug it in one of the socket the content the electrical signal which is the data from that content of that personality is what will flow through you but you are not the power socket you are still the purest i am now if you learn what the higher self is and you begin to plug your inner child into the higher self oh my goodness you are going to experience god through the inner child